another look. We're joined now by Flor Hassan Nahum. She's the outgoing de deputy mayor of Jerusalem and Israel's special envoy for trade and innovation. Thank you so much for joining us here on The Debrief. I want to ask you first, what's the mood like there? Are people afraid of further attacks or do they feel confident that the IDF forces can handle whatever Iran may throw their way? Well, first of all, people last night were so nervous, so much tension. My family was in a shelter for most of the night. I was on a flight to New York. In fact, my flight was the last flight to leave before the airspace was shut down by the Israeli army for fear of the missiles coming through. And uh, my kids and my husband spent the rest of the evening, the whole night actually, in, in the shelter in our home, as did most of Israelis. We saw an unprecedented amount of missiles being thrown at Israel, and for the first time ever from Iranian territory, which is a complete change of policy for Iran. Normally, they're very, they're very sly and sneaky, and they work through all their proxies. They work through uh, Hamas, they work through Hezbollah, they work through the Houthis, they work through their, their people in Iraq and Afghanistan. And so this time was completely unprecedented in number, of the attack, but Israel impressively, and with the help of the Americans and the British, uh, managed to actually stop 99% of the missiles that were sent Israel's way, which is a complete historical unprecedented event that we managed to have such a strong air defense system. And what's even more incredible is that Jordan helped us also prevent some of those missiles from landing in Israel, because Jordan is also under threat from the Iranian genocidal regime. And so we have a new Middle East, you could look at it that way. And at the moment, I find it rich that everybody's asking Israel for maximum restraint. Where was the maximum restraint demanded of Iran a few days ago? Well, certainly, first of all, glad to hear that your family is safe. I'm sure that was certainly terrifying. Um, and that is the question, what will happen next? Uh, but we talk about what impact this all had, and as well as the fighting with Hamas, what's the impact on the city of Jerusalem? How are people going about their business? Are they able to go about their business? Well, last night, uh, like I said, we had an unprecedented attack on Jerusalem because Jerusalem normally does not actually suffer from a lot of rocket fire, mainly because our population is 40% Muslim Arabs. And of course, the Al-Aqsa Mosque, the Temple Mount, Haram al-Sharif, which is the third holiest site for Muslims, is in Jerusalem. And well, last night we see um, rockets flying towards the uh, Muslim holy sites and Israeli anti-rocket fire actually making sure that they don't hit um, the, the, the Muslim holy sites. A uh, lot of very loud booms. People were very scared last night. But from what I understand from my family today, things are quiet, but back to normal. And people are cautiously going about their day. And as you just said, Jerusalem, the center for three of the world's largest religions. Uh, how is this impacting pilgrims and others who want to visit the city? You said things are, are feeling a little bit more back to normal today. We just have a few more seconds, but we want to know, you know, is that feeling a little bit more normal today? Well, since October 7th, nothing is normal anymore. Everything has changed. Uh, the tourists are not in Jerusalem anymore, and we pray we pray that the war is over. We pray that our neighbors finally accept the fact that Israel is here. It's not going anywhere and move forward towards some type of coexistence and resolution. Absolutely. Flor Hassan Nahum, outgoing deputy mayor of Jerusalem and Israel's special envoy for trade and innovation. Thank you so much. We hope to have you back soon.